Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Journey Beyond the Abyss. One moment, please. Chat overlay on. And here we go for the day. All right. Well, we have, if I do recall, a new unboxing to do. Yes, yes, we have a excavator in a box. Wonderful. Well, let us just go and find a lovely place for it. There should be a cinnabar vein very close by. I had, yes, very, very close by, right here, in fact. All right, well, let's just lay that out and get her going. Now, where do I want to place this? Hmm. Okay, the Utilidor is probably going to come in from the west side. So let's place it like, I don't know. Let's place it right there for the meantime. And let's just get her going. Alrighty then. So, excavator. And it's going to take all of that, of course. It's going to take everything within the box. But let's start with the scaffolding the light and redstone engineering blocks. And let's also start working in the daytime. Just for the sake of pretty. Okay. Da, 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 da. So the radiator block is in the corner and it's an L shape of the sheet metal from there. as well as our radiator blocks. Let's just grab those. Well, hmm. Let's start at one away from the corner, just for luck. And then it was two of these, one of those, right? No, two in each direction. Okay, and then light and up. And from there, it was three scaffolding in each direction, right? Right. Oh, hello, Ian. Welcome to the stream. Always lovely to have you here. Alrighty then. We are just building our excavator out right now. Another unboxing video, always wonderful. All right, so these just go all the way up. And then we have a redstone and a heavy over here. Let me see. Yeah, it was straight up from the radiator block. So, redstone, heavy. I think that was a heavy on top of the redstone again. Yep with our remaining two radiator blocks out here. Okay, second layer of this, it's sheet metal and then all light. Oops. And over on this side, wait, this is the red engineering side. Yeah. Okay, light on the red engineering side. On this one, it's the sheet metal. Just grab more sheet metal. And then it's light, and then it's the sheet metal up in a C around it. With two more heavy engineering blocks. Or was it three? Yep, all three heavy engineering blocks right down there. Sheet metal wrapped around it. Now that should be the engine unit of the excavator completed. If I take my hammer. Yep, that completes. Ooh, diggy diggy hole, all right. But we don't wanna leave that completed for now because I think it's easier to see how the excavator uh, bucket is going with it uncompleted. 
So, for the excavator bucket, we're going to need to take our nine blocks of iron and our 20 blocks of scaffold or uh, steel, forgive me. And the excavator bucket is centered. I wish it wouldn't default to the animation. Yes, it's centered on the second layer here, directly between the two engineering block layers. So, if we just climb up, centered right there. And it goes out two more with the final block on the end. It fits exactly nestled perfectly between them. The end? Or, no, no. What am I doing? The end there? Hello, Prince. Welcome to the stream. All right. And from there, it should go like... Let me get back specifically to this. And let's see here. Yeah, it goes like an L shape. No, it it goes yeah one two three four. With one two, and then right down there. Yeah, I, I my intuition was correct the first time. I think. Hmm. Mm hmm. One, two, huh. Yep, okay. Yep, that's looking correct. Okay, and then we just kind of have to dig under it a little bit. Okay. Let's just dig a little bit farther under it. So that goes down one, two, three. And then that goes like so. Dig yet further under it. It doesn't particularly matter if the excavator is actually touching ground or not. Okay, and that should complete the multi-block. Oof. It doesn't particularly matter if it's in water or not. Excavator really does not care. Okay, now we should be able to... Open it up and then dupe. Yep. We have a completed bucket wheel. And now we have a completed engine block surrounding it. And that is the excavator. All right, now all we need to do is run over power, and we're going to be golden. So, hmm, how to handle the power? I left all my HV power stuff back in the back in the base, didn't I? Ah, wonderful little sounds of industry going on in the background there. Yes, it seems that we have biome-specific sounds specifically for industry. Oh boy, we need more connectors. We need more connectors. Do I have any aluminum at all? I do. Do I, Is that enough aluminum? Yeah, it is. Okay, do I have any terracotta? I do. Just need a little bit. Just a tiny little boop. There we go. All right. Uh, have I tried Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead? No, I have not. Um, the name sounds vaguely familiar, but I have never played it. Would you recommend it? I mean, I'll take a look into it if it's if it's a good time. That's still going. Right, I need to find a lever for that thing, and I need to find a lever for that thing pretty stat, because, uh, let me... 
I really should. I think that after this, I'll make the damn thermionic fabricator just so I can have a bag so I can carry around all the tools. It's time to stop being lazy about that thermionic fabricator. But yeah, I think that even with um, even with the output full and that thing unable to output any more liquid, that is still burning energy just sitting there. Let's give her a check. Hi, Mr. Fancy Schmancy. I'm, it may be brief, but I'm glad to have you here. Yeah, yeah, that is burn in daylight. So let's turn this completely off because this is also in a crisis point right now because that has completely filled up the gasoline tank. And as such, it's not running anymore on, oh. It's just full of diesel? What? Then why is this not... Oh, shoot. This is not filling up because... Yeah, we need to make a better piping system for this already. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we are going to need to replace those janky, unfiltered... Um, unfiltered pipes for buildcraft pipes. In the meantime, though, I believe that I can... Uh, yeah, I, I can empty this out the emergency way if I do. Do. And that'll just completely get rid of all that tasty, tasty gasoline. But that's okay. That's what we need to do right now. Uh, what are the pipes full of, if not gasoline? Ah, shoot. Heck? Did I lose a sheet metal? What's going on here? Yeah, that's where everything goes. Where did the extra sheet metal go? Let's go get a damn piece of sheet metal because something went derp there. Well, I don't mind if a game is hard. I do not mind at all a game simply being hard. GBTA, I wouldn't call hard. I'd call it grindy. But grindy, I suppose, is a type of hard. Yeah, that, that was bizarre. Okay, something's gone wrong here. Oh, that's that's where it went. It somehow got placed in there. Oh, well. Oops. There we go. Okay, so... Where is... Yeah, I don't want you filling with gasoline. I... Ah, uh, shoot. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, well, we need to we need to get build craft pipes on this before I start trying to filter my tanks. We need to filter the pipes. Uh, let's do that. Let us do that already. Yeah, it's going to waste more lava, but it's fine. Uh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Well, Let's make some build craft pipes. So, we are going to need... Where did I put them all? I put them all in here. Okay, we're going to need a wood diamond pipe to extract. Um, I don't think I'm going to need any void pipes. Let's also put away all our stuff just for the moment. 
because we aren't going to be building that utilidor for a moment. We're going to need levers and stuff like that first. Uh, we can put these away, though. And we are going to need to switch the system back to gasoline in order to make some transport pipes. I should have not very much glass. Mm, oh, boy. Well, yeah, we're wasting tons of lava. Oh, well. So, put this in here. And we're also going to need a couple of diamond pipes. All right. Now, these are item pipes. In order to use them fully, we are going to need to upgrade them to fluid pipes. And I believe I can do that. Yeah, I can turn cactus green into pipe sealant. And then just pay, putting a pipe sealant on a fluid pipe will turn, or on, onto an item pipe, will turn it into a fluid pipe. More gas. And then all those. Uh, we don't have enough cactus green, but that's okay. I believe we have an alternative measure in slime. And slime, as we all know, is free. Just from the blood bank. Yep, it works. Okay, more... Oops. More gas for the gas god. And let's just turn that all in. Yep, not quite enough. Now, well, let's get some more slime. Let's go visit the blood bank. Let's also do that in the daytime, just because we're getting a little bit closer to the line where things spawn. So, make sure that it doesn't even have the chance to consider the issue. Yes, how you doing, blood bank? You're doing strong. Ah, beautiful, precious, tasty blood. It's what a growing body needs. How you guys doing in there? You feeling good? That's the sound of them feeling good. Maybe I should put a fluid pump on this to transfer out faster. Eh, it's okay. I don't need to do this too frequently. It will probably need a better pumping system. Ah, hello, Blood Devon. Yes, how very topical, welcome. Good old Blood Bank. Yes, Blood Bank for the Blood Devon, for the Blood God. All right, and now back on the menu for you. Get in there. Get me that tasty, tasty blood. Get me that tasty, tasty lag. Off with the old and out with the blood. I'm not quite sure why it transfers when I turn it off. Oh well. Let's just get it pouring. Just for the sake of having a little bit of slime in our pocket. It's a wonderful sludgy sensation. And also just for the sake of not wasting any gas whatsoever. I guess this, this is kind of industrial craft-ish related. And this is, I, I'll call it farming related. Okay, now. Shoot. I need to switch back to lava because I need a piston. Yep, we need a piston. Okay, we don't need all that much lava, I don't think. Just a little bit. And thankfully we have engineering blocks already in stock. With one, two, three, four. And one, two, three. 
to make Pistone. Yeah, JBTA is, uh, and, and JEI is causing it too. JBTA is a memory hog, and I think I might need to get more RAM. I think I might need to download some more RAM. Okay, back to gas once more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And get those gears. I also need another piece of glass. I don't know if I have any more glass. I don't. Dig some more sand. Let's just kind of level the land around our excavator a little bit better. It'll help somehow, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. It's such a helpful site, I'm sure. Millions of people just don't know about it. Tragedy. They could improve their system so much just by downloading some more RAM. Why doesn't everyone do it? Okay, get in there. Good enough. And yeah, let's be impatient. Let's just cook it in here. Hmm? Yeah, that takes a moment in there. Interesting. Okay. And now we just need to... This, this... This... What does a redstone engine take? It is something like that, right? Yeah, and then three wood. Okay, cool. Okay, and yeah, let's just convert the rest of that bucket of gasoline into pipe sealant for later. We're going to need tons. I totally would download a car if I could. Wouldn't you? That sounds amazing. I mean... These days, that's actually not too far-fetched of a statement, I suppose. If we had, like, an industrial 3D printer that was open source. Or the like. Okay, now let's improve this system just a little bit. So... The first question is, of course, going to be getting it over here. So let's just kind of clear out this entire pipe system. I might not have enough pipe on hand. We shouldn't have built this system near the very noisy cidery either. Okay, so. Oh, shoot. I forgot to bring, like, a piece of redstone or something to get this thing activated. Hmm. The IRS won't stop you, even with their 87,000 new agents? My god, the madman. He's taking on the entire army of them. You're the hero that we need right now, just not the one we deserve. Yes, I do need to lay more pipe. Well, not only that, I need to lay different pipe. Yeah, we're, we're, we're swapping out the entire pipe system here. We're improving our pipemanship. 
investing in new techniques. Read myself the Kama Sutra. Okay, you. Now. If I put a redstone signal on that, we should see it start to fill up this little pipe here. Yeah, I need to get more pipe. Let's hold me up here. Oh, you don't have any liquid inside of you. Right, okay, that makes sense. In any case, let us... First diamond pipe. So you are going to be lubricant. We just need to get a bucket sample of it and then put lubricant onto red side. And that should mean that only lubricant goes down the red side of the pipe. Diamond pipes are filter pipes. Didn't happen, did it? What didn't happen? I, I didn't uh, I didn't completely derp up my fluid tanks. Yeah, I completely derped up my fluid tanks. Okay, get the lubricant out of here. So I have a little bit of diesel. And we're just going to put that down the red side once more. And as well as on this one, we're going to put diesel down the red side this way. All those IRS agents, yep. Okay, let's just empty out as much as we can. Boring, I know. I could do this with pipes, I know. But I'm being lazy and not getting any additional pipe laid in here. I'm just transferring it over. And now let's empty out the rest. Uh, where is my hammer? There is my hammer. Okay, now I need a little bit more buildcraft pipe. <laughs> oh, bold, bold statement. L let me guess, you don't have any income so you aren't paying any taxes right now? All those taxes that you don't owe that you aren't paying, huh? Yeah, I'm... I'm I, I very much empathize right now. Uh, I am in a training phase and not a working phase. Which is why I have the time to do all this. Okay, the last of our stored gasoline is getting down to it. Where did I put the pipe sealant? Over there did I put the pipe sealant. And that should hopefully be enough. Hopefully. Maybe. Right, let's also get a bucket of gasoline back from storage just so that we can completely filter our pipes. Gasoline. And let us go and test this system. So, completely link everything up. Oh boy, we don't want that there. Yep, yep. Okay. It's not connecting anywhere. Ah, a little bit of something in the pipe. Well, that at least shows it's compatible with... Yep, and that should be... Why is that diesel? 
diesel on the red side? No, I want gasoline on this one. I want gasoline and not diesel. Oh boy. Oh boy. I derped it up. We've derped everything up. And I want diesel on this one. Yes. Zombo. What did I forget to light? Ah, yes. The downside of having, well, downside. Upside, downside. The, the wonk side of having a pig iron bow is that you'll take bites of it when you're hungry. Just because it's so tasty. Okay, so there's diesel. There's gasoline. There's lube. And let's just check lube. Gas. Diesel. I have no clue. There must be a machine or something that's not lit. Okay, so... This must have a little bit of residual power in the system. That's just uh, sorting out our remaining power into all this. But let's turn the system back on and get this thing really burning. And let me... Yeah, a little bit of residual power in the system. Okay, now this should really pump the pipe full. And that should have it going everywhere it needs to go. So this will keep our tanks filtered properly. And that should keep us good to go until things just fill up. And yeah, it'll it'll fill up the pipe with diesel first. And then when there's nothing but gasoline in there, it'll start working on the gas. Empty that out. Then it'll empty out all the lube. Then it'll kind of cycle back around. The tower? You think it's the distillation tower? I think I lit up the distillation tower just fine. Yeah, I have... Torches all over this thing. I don't know. Is my F7 mode on or off? It's hard to tell when I've lit up the island entirely. Yeah, the tanks are lit up. He couldn't spawn on that. I don't know. Let's go over to the Alchemist Island real quick. The Alchemist Island is unlit. Oh yeah, there's also a spawning spot back in town right now. Hmm. I saw that red dot on the map. Yeah, let's just tell real quick if F7 mode is on or off. It's off. There. F7 mode is on. The trees? Uh, dynamic trees aren't spawnable up on top. They don't have, like... They're all entity. They're no... Uh, they don't ha really have any blocks. Okay, so, 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 so... Maybe under the cider trees? Hmm. I've lit up the cidery pretty damn well. Yep. I think we just have a mystery zombie on our hands. And we'll just have to l accept that life is sometimes mysterious. Oof. Let's make our Utilidor a little bit, a uh, little bit easier to navigate. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't the Utilidor that's spawnable. So I don't know. I really don't know. 
In any case, yes, I needed to go and nab a proper lever to control our pump jack a little bit better. Right, the spot that we saw in town. I think I even know where that is. I think that is the... Uh, I think that maybe the glass maker doesn't like a, having a torch in their house. They're just going to have to accept it. Because we are implementing new industry standards, whether they like... Yeah, okay. Well, the red dot was right around here, and we've had trouble with this house before. Is it maybe up on the roof? Did they... Did they mess up their roof? They've surrounded it entirely with path blocks. Yeah, let's just use these pipes to pillar up. You can't pillar up on pipes. Oh, can I parkour up? Yes! Okay, yep, yeah, there's the problem. They messed up their roof. Ugh, these villagers, I swear. All right, let's go nab that lever. And you know, maybe that's where our mystery zombie came from. Maybe he, like, ran all the way over and just got caught in the machinery. Okay, do these, do these ships have any levers anywhere inside of them? I don't remember. Regardless. This also has active smokestacks, so we need to deal with this. Yeah, this ship... All those smokestacks are going to start emitting pollution, so we need to deconstruct those anyway. So, we might as well do our usual spawn reduction trick of just taking out all the siding. And, you know, we really just might as well fight this one out. Just keep our distance so as not to catch the plethora of diseases. Remember that we need to get more torches on hand. Belatedly. Realize that this cargo hold has no means for crew to actually get in there. Wonder how the crew would ever get this cargo out of the ship. Ah, there it is. No? No one on this layer? Ah, wait. I saw a flash of green, I think. There you are. Yes, I may not have enough torches, but we can at least get daylight going on in here. Just to reduce the amount of monsters that are spawning. Oh, hello. And that's why I favor rapid fire for those oh shit situations. But that's also why we carry a melee weapon for the unusual zombie who is a ninja. And there's an advantage of having a pig iron bow for when I realize that I'm out of tripe. And yet need to heal. <sighs> Come on, get out of there. I'm beginning to suspect that this ship has no levers on it. But let's check up in the conning tower and control room. Yeah. And that was through our incredibly powerful armor, too. Is that nickel?
just get rid of all this blood. No, that's gold. Nice. Okay. Well, we need to just... Yeah. Now get rid of these completely unnecessary smokers that just spew pollution endlessly. Okay. Yeah, that's a fair bit of gold, but gold is not something we're ever going to be in short supply of. Gold is even more plentiful on the cargo ships. There we go. Yep, and unfortunately... No levers whatsoever. But we did our good deed for the day, cleaning up this environmental hazard. Mm. And there. Oh, right. One more thing of factory blocks. And there we go. Okay. Well, we did our good deed for the day. And let's just go grab it from an oil platform. There should be, yeah, one of those. These things have lots of levers on them. Unless I've stripped this one already. Which I might have, the way that I had to... Yeah, I stripped this one already. I should have marked this one with like... Well, I guess it still has loot boxes. Okay, anything else that's conveniently nearby? Eh. Eh. Oh, hello 12th Century Fox, welcome to the stream. It's a bit of a derp stream right now, I'm afraid. We are on the quest for a lever. Alrighty then. Just over there then. Let's also grab some more tripes and torches just while we're passing through. Uh, not even stripping of the ships. Right now we're searching through we're searching through those platforms just for any levers that I left behind. Okay, get rid of all that. We can just Yeah, do I have my chisel on me? Yeah, I do. Just waste not. And we've been putting our pipes in miscellany. Which I really shouldn't, but oh well. Okay, grab a fresh set of tripes. It's getting close to time to buying some more. And let's make us some torches real quick. Yep. Unfortunately, levers are really hard to construct right now. In order to make a lever just from scratch, I would need, well, I would need to finally make my thermionic fabricator, but I would need to make these circuit plates. And these circuit plates are made out of a couple of things. These circuit boards aren't terribly expensive, but these silicons, yeah, that's made from this silicon which is made out of these five silicon bools, and each of those five silicon bools is going to require eight sandstone and a sandy coal compound, which is made out of a lot of sand and a block of coal. So 
that is a process that is going to require automation is the long and short of it. It's also going to require more excavation. Yeah. There's a reason. Oh, wait, I need to actually craft the dang torches. There's a reason that I am scavenging for levers right now instead of making them myself. Well, those circuit plates are what you need for all redstone devices. If I, I'm, I'm going to need comparators for a bunch of things too. And to make those comparators, you need three of those circuit plates. Those circuit plates are used for a lot of Project Red things, but they're also used for all base redstone devices. They're used for repeaters, they're used for comparators, they're used for levers. I think buttons use them. Yeah. So basically, if you want to do anything with redstone and you can't just scavenge all of it if you've run out of nearby scavenge, then you're going to need to automate those circuit plates. And that effectively means that we're going to need a silt excavator for infinite sand, and we're going to need a coal excavator for infinite coal, as well as the fact that we're going to need dedicated thermionic fabricators for all of it. So really, that's going to be past the point where we've automated all the basics. Where we have the basic resources in enough that we can just make dedicated carpenters and thermionic fabricators for each individual recipe. Which we aren't quite there yet. So, hopefully, we have some nearby scavenge, at least for some levers. Come on. Up there. And, okay. There's some levers. Yeah. I think this thing also, are those observers? Yeah. Uh, do I have any use for observers right now? And uh, da, 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 da. Do any of the townies make levers? No, they are not like vanilla villagers. Do I have any uses for observers at the moment? Detectors? Eh. Yeah, it's worth keeping, I suppose. Yes, to my knowledge, none of the millionaire villages make levers. None of them have the mod integration of, like, a railcraft villager, a immersive engineering villager. They, they just... As far as I'm aware, none of... Yeah, nah. I, I'll leave the loot boxes. The loot boxes are... I mean, I, I guess the bronze gears might be nice. But if I want to grab loot boxes, I'll go to one of the sailboats that have tons of them. Or one of the steamer ships that have tons of them. Just grabbing a couple. I, I mean, I guess I was in the area. It, it's too late now. It is too late now is the long short. And short of it. Mm. Okay. Sort all this garbo away. Just that observer. Sticky pistons, unfortunately, I don't think I can use them for all the same recipes as regular pistons. And I don't think there's any way to unsticky a piston. Otherwise, those would be amazing loot targets. Ah, we did, in fact, light up a little bit in this area. Right, because I dug up some torches while I was flattening the land. Okay, there we go. And over here, finally, we can turn the pump jack off. There we go. All of that just to turn the pump jack off. Oh, boy. It's going to be one of those days. So, let us decide where we're going to run our Utilidor now over the, this excavator bucket. So, I took all my HV stuff and put it away. Let's grab those, those, and those. 
let's also just grab a random building block. Um, do I have any dirt walls? Yeah, there we go. Okay, and let's get a new line on the Utilidor dug. So, I need to get here. Yep, that is the oil distillery. Beautiful, isn't she? Okay, now how to get under this wire? Uh, let's just... Did I put away my excavator? I must have put away my excavator. More death cable, everyone's favorite. And we're also going to have to try and find a way to get under it. Ooh, deadly, deadly cable. Okay, put this away in. Yeah, I really need to make that thermionic fabricator so that I can just carry around everything in a bag. Alrighty then. Okay, let's just get right under this. Ah, good, it's on the ceiling, not the... Okay, so we can just... There. And then I think I can sneak... No, I can't. So we need to dig a little bit deeper into the pathway. Just to get under it. You know? Ah, no, we're going under the earth right here. There we go. And then we can start placing our torches right down there. Uh, the power isn't low, but thankfully I have just enough protection that I can survive a single zap. God, all the random bullshit you get digging through sand and grass. Pyrotech just hates inventory management. Okay, and we can clean up the lines on the ground just right there. And it's like it never happened. Okay, are we quite lined up yet? No, we aren't. Yep, one almost death. We're probably going to have another couple of them just before the day is done. Free, free, free me from the tyranny of this weight system. And let's start running that cable. So let's get it on this side. Have I quite run 32 blocks yet? Not quite yet. Okay, so. But we are lined up, so we need it right there. And from there, start running down this way. It's okay. A little bit of beach will come and just assault us. Uh, yes, we have arrived. We, we have uh, a Rickved at not-so-friendly voltage levels, yes. We are at the point where we need to be careful, which is why I'm digging these beautiful uh, Disneyland knockoff utilidors. Just so that most of our power is under the ground and out of the way where it can't be randomly derped into 90% of the time. Unfortunately, that means that when we're working with Beach that we need to just deal with it. Ah, shoot. I miss shot. That's fine, though. That is fine. We will just deal with it as we will deal with it. So, 
get rid of all the random BS from the beach. Let's keep the sand. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah, it's very friendly. It's gregarious. It's outright, uh, it's outright neighborly. It wants to be touched and loved and hugged. And licked. Don't you just, yeah, don't you just want to lick those beautiful power cables? Mmm, tasty. Delicious. Okay, so let us over there. Ah, one higher, one higher. I threw out the dirt preemptively. I should have realized that I would be digging under. Well, actually, that kind of works because then I can. Uh, Make a pass through like right here and right there. And then with that right there, that'll allow it to link up. And oh shoot, should I have made it a pass through first? No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so from there, if I. make my next relay here do final linkaging there and then run the line down there we go excavator is active now we can just fill in the rest of the utilidor did i throw out my dirt walls shoot i did Shoot, I did. Uh, I am not responsible enough to handle the responsibility of carrying around blocks, it seems. Okay, so let's put those on here. Just, yeah, we need to get that a chest anyway. Uh, where is my collection of chests. There they are. Okay, and let's start compacting our sand because we need to build up supplies of sand now. Yeah, and I will. I will just go buy some. I will do that. Why you know? You should be. Does the hopper need to be on top of this thing? Let's get rid of that in. Yeah, there we go. That's better. That is apparently better. It's so finicky about what it will and will not allow in its precious little slots. But, oh well. Switch it back to daytime. Let the millionaire villagers all wake up. Ah, so we're going to need to shape this utilidor a bit preciously. Just because the excavator is very inconveniently placed. And let us buy us some ugly construction blocks. I hope that there's like some sort of exchanger in the pack. Because I'm going to have to build a couple large structures out of ugly, just cobblestone blocks. It would be nice to eventually be able to decorate them properly. Let's see, the pack has RF tools. I know RF tools has a builder. Does it have an exchanger in it? But what are you... Oh, God. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, just buy a couple stacks of dirt walls. It's a pity I can't buy straight up dirt from them. I guess dirt is more valuable than dirt walls. 
Yeah, I suppose that with proper, with proper, ah, uh, that might be, that might be problematic. With proper um, chiseling, dirt can look okay. And thankfully, I can, uh, I can lay it out pre-chiseled. Okay. And let's just kind of leave this inobtrusive side corridor as a entrance into the utilidor system. However, let's fill that out, make that. Yes, there we go. And already we have nearly a stack of this cinnabar. Which is glorious, glorious news. Can I just... Half of it. There we go. Yes, this Cinnabar... If we take it on over to our Mr. Crusher... Which eventually we're obviously going to want dedicated crushers for each excavator. But if we just toss that on in there... Each one of that cinnabar is going to get us an inordinate amount of redstone. Yeah. Redstone ain't a problem anymore. And it comes in dust form. We no longer need to chunk it up from the blocks. So that is glorious, wonderful news. And we might be moving that excavator to a couple of different places, just depending on what we need. At the time... Let's just get rid of this spare. And let's put that in mechanical over there. So that's going to need some repair. Let's just grab all of it. No, no, no. Blood Devon has a point twelve century fox. Cobble can look okay. It can look okay. And yeah, let's just keep it in our ingot chest at last. You know, I'm really surprised that this is unfamiliar because we're going to need hard carbon liquid for something at the end of this chapter. And that can sit in there. Okay, so let us finally start making a thermionic fabricator so that I can stop this juggling my tools around in this in this various uh, shelving situation that I've got going on here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Mr. Crusher, yes. Well, it can, it can talk all it likes because it's a very useful little device. Yeah. In fact, it might be time to already go and shut off the excavator. Simply because that that amount of redstone in there, that was from 12 of this Cinnabar. And we've already got more than a stack of it. <clears throat> we are not going to be short of redstone for a little while. So let's just shut that off for a little while. And in fact, we can probably... Now that the... Now that the... Um, now that the copper and now that the redstone is full for a while, we can probably shut off the diesel engine just to save us fuel for a little while. Yeah. Oh, that pipe can't keep up, can it? Wait, is it already shut off? Or is it just not making noise? Yeah, I think it was just not making noise. Regardless. Yeah. Off of that capacitor, it'll be filling up its... Why is it draining diesel still? Ah, now it stopped. Now it stopped. Oh, boy. Now the tank really is full of gasoline, isn't it? Mm. Wait, why is it draining out? 
What is going on? Uh, and it's also full of bitumen. Oh boy. Well, you can see that the long and the short of the story here is that we need to start setting up bigger storage. We need to start figuring out uh, auto voiding systems. And for that, I really don't want to be switching back and forth between lava and gasoline. So I'm going to need that second engineering station. And I don't want to do the cog dance, so I want to automate that. But first, first, I don't want to keep on saying it. I want to just start doing it. Let's make that thermionic fabricator. Let us finally make this stupid thing. So, first step is going to be making this new sturdy casing. That is just going to need a little bit of engineering blocks and a lot of bronze. Yeah, we need more. I know. We need more. We need more of everything. Ah, well, I should have I should have visited the loot boxes after all. You were right about that one. Well, nothing to it but to do it. Yeah, let's just visit those ships. They had lots of loot boxes on them. And they're already kind of cleaned out halfway. They should have very reduced spawns now that they've been poked all full through holes. And... There we go. Yeah, these things drop bronze gears, I think, as their most frequent reward. Or at the very least, you tend to get tons of them. I don't mind if a few golden apples get lost. It's fine. They're just regular golden apples. They're not notch apples. I think they can be upgraded into them, can't they? Yeah with eight blocks of gold and some lava in the... Well, I might actually have a use for full-on god apples, notch apples, whatever you want to call them. But not right away. Not right away. Not until we are a little bit further along will I have a use for those. Okay, into the next. Oh, come on. There, that's better. Yep, yeah, combat's a lot easier when you can shoot so fast that they can't even reach you. Of course, when they have armor, they suffer less knockback. Maybe I should put a level of punch on the bow. That would mean having to replace one of the limbs for paper, or just having to recraft the bow. Yeah, I think that knockback is a tinker modifier with a piston, and I think that it's the only other thing that can really go on bows. You can't put quartz on bow, that only affects its melee damage. But you can put on redstone to increase draw speed, and you can put on pistons, I think, to increase their level of punch and cause them to produce more knockback from the arrows they shoot, I mean. Maybe a level of punch on the bow would be nice. Maybe. Maybe not. Only for my particular I hate combat style would it really be worth it, I think. And honestly, redstone serves just fine. Okay, is there any more loot box on this ship? There's a little bit. We might as well. And just deconstruct those and not even pick it up. Just because that is useless, useless loot. And just drill straight through the wall. Let all those beds just rot.
and start trashing. Uh, I don't care about the coins. Not the really low value ones anyway. Okay. Anything else for me? Up on the deck? Eh, a little bit. But really, I think that these steamer ships are just not worth it. They don't really have any great loot on them. Yeah, now that I'm going for bronze, I get more copper. That's how I should have... That's what I should have done when I needed copper gears. I should have loudly and impatiently stated that I needed co that I needed bronze gears. Gone on and on about it while I was going through each one. Uh, Murphy's smarter than that. Murphy is a bit too clever for my own good. Okay, how we doing... Yeah, we should we should have we should have enough to at least make a go of it. Yeah, now that copper is useless, it's gonna be all that I get. But you know what? We also get tons of tin gears, and I can use some of our useless copper, useless plentiful infinite copper to just alloy it the old fashioned way, using the tin gears to just melt down. So we have a lot more bronze than it looks like. Okay, start trashing. I don't think I'm going to exchange any of these coins. It's just not worth it. Not at the moment. Okay, gears. All these tasty, tasty gears. Yeah. yeah, 24 bronze gears, not terrible. Get out of here. And... Nice empty shulker box. Okay, yeah. What I can do is I can just take, I don't know, and eight of those. Wait, that is three to one, right? Yeah, that should be the correct ratio. And there we go. And that should melt down into tons of bronze. Two to one to make. Okay, let's let's see here. Uses for bronze tins. No, it's three to one. It is three to one. Okay. Well, well, well. Let us just yeah melt that all down. I think I have enough bronze ingots. Let's just melt that all down into. No, that, that wasn't math. That was trivia that failed you. And you might be thinking of Valheim. I think it is two to one in Valheim. Um, okay, now let's start working on those engineering blocks. So we're just going to need a nice little supply of redstone. My god, I hope we have enough. And now the rare thing is going to be these iron mechanical components, I think. That is going to be the thing holding us up. So we're going to need a lot of iron to cast into plates. Um, We're also going to need a little bit of the ingot form of it. And we're going to need to set this thing back to... Back to lava once more. Are you still loaded up with cobble? No, you're not. Well, let's just... Uh, red... 
engineering blocks, load that up, and let's get some more lava on the burner. Yeah, we might as well start running the crusher, I suppose. Load her up. Yeah, let's run this for a few minutes. Well, no, we don't have the diesel engine on. We turned the diesel engine off. I really wish I had the means of making a comparator right now so that I could get that on automated control. Well, with the thermionic fabricator, we'll have the first step of that, I suppose. Yep, and that is probably going to overload the chest. But we'll just make do. And you know what? Let's throw out just some of this glowstone. Let's just keep some of it. But throw out most of it. And we're going to need to check back on that in a couple of minutes. But yeah, this was for this was from running the excavator for what? 10 minutes. It's a wee bit ridiculous what we can produce right now. Oh, right. I forgot to turn this on. It would have been helpful running that while we were doing all that. But, oh well. Yeah. Our redstone situation is, uh, it's gone completely the other direction now. We have an excess so it's thankful that the redstone engineering blocks cost so damn much, isn't it? Okay, and yeah, I need to start melting some more. Wait, didn't I throw a bunch of them in to be ingot cast? I did. Okay, sweet. And just... Offload all that. Oops. Bit of steel in there too. Bit of slime. Bit of everything for us. Everything that a grown boy needs. And let's just offload all this into the redstone engineering blocks. Yeah, that's doing a bit better. And we're closing in on a stack of these things. You never thought we would see the day that we just casually start throwing together stacks of engineering blocks, huh? But we're getting there. We are getting there. More iron. And that was more lava that I heard blooping. Okay, and that's probably enough of those for now. So let's just start converting those into these and we need more mechanical parts which might be problematic Okay, thankfully the Crusher isn't going to start flooding the world with redstone dust. I think it's finished up now. Okay, do I have any plates of iron? No, not really. 
and I'm kind of short on iron in general. Well, time for a quick mining trip, it's looking like. Mm-hmm. Ah, well, we have a little bit of ingot on us, but yeah, it's time to do a mining trip just to retrieve some more iron. Well, uh, I don't think I want to visit one of the ships. Let's go visit the abyss. So let us get Hamar. Uh, okay, let's first of all offload some of our various farming goods. Let's bring along another stack of tripes for luck. And that should do us. <laughs> well, I mean, there is such a thing as a uh, as a bio robot. I could have artificial neurons, or I could have decentralized processing. You only have a CPU if you have a if you have like a central processor unit. I could have my processing distributed throughout my body. I could be literally pulling thoughts out of my ass. Yep, we need more iron. We come for you. We come to uh, pull it out of the land and uh, yeah, it is ours. You cannot do anything about it, Abyss. You are powerless before us. Your Vata will not stop us. Your Mr. Pufferfish, he is pathetic. He will not stop us. Okay. And now let's just pick a hole and start digging for it. First of all, let's filter our inventory as best we can because we don't want a bunch of prismarine in here. That'll do. And now I just need... Yep. That'll do. And now I can just start drilling down. Alright, let's also... There. Just so that I can occasionally see where the heck I'm going. And from there, we can simply start drilling on down. Eh, I suppose I could also be digging out these redstone blocks. I don't really need them. But we can do it. Yeah, we're in the area. We might as well. Uh, the Gru isn't as much of a problem because the water is mostly keeping it from spawning. It's more kind of for the sake of telling what resources are along the sides of the walls that I'm digging. Yeah, water pushing us everywhere, not cooperating. the heck okay flashlight get in my hand and you get out of here what the heck Ugh. okay we need to we need to offload because this is not working out so you 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 stop bothering me prismarine I don't want you And there. Inventory management, always a problem. 
Okay, so what the heck is going on? Why won't it let me place some more torches? Just like that. Okay, cool. And now we start back drilling. This will make it easier. Yeah. Oh, I hate when that happens. Yes, one of the biggest obstacles is the clay. The clay just ruins this nice, deep mining shaft. And then it starts causing things to push us around in random directions. Because the water is flowing all over the place. But it's fine. Is that the wrong storage crate? Did I not pick up my storage crate up there? What the heck's going on? Okay, let's clean out our mining shaft. And let's find out what the heck we did. Yeah, what happened to my crate? You just get out of here, Clay. What happened to my crate? Well, I'm missing a crate. I must have accidentally threw it out or something. I'm sure it's entirely my fault. It always is. Was in that one thing on the side? Okay, that might do it. That might be the issue. It got lost in the side corridor. I don't see it in any of the side corridors. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing it. I don't know what happened. All right, and we need water source blocks to drink. We can't just drink flowing water. That would be sanitary. We have to find the still stagnant water. Aha! I think I found it. There it is. There it is. Ah, the problem was that I tried to... I, I think that I tried to, like, pick it up and my inventory management screwed me over or something. Okay, so there we go. Not R.I.P. Crate. Not quite yet. Okay, now let's mine up all this iron. Now that we have, uh... Now that we have derped around long enough, hopefully that is... The toll paid for extracting the iron from this place. 
And we can just mine in peace at this point. Yeah, I really wish Prismarine didn't weigh as much as it do. But sadly, we must ensure that our inventory remains filtered as best we can just to avoid immediately getting zoomed in. Or at least the price of the iron. I mean, it's not like I'm gathering up enough of it to make an entire bank's worth. And yeah, I left that crate just on the ground, didn't I? Yep. Take that with us. That's better. Goodness, this vein goes on forever. It's beautiful. Well, I, the Iron Price is a Game of Thrones reference from Bravos, right? And their big thing was the Iron Bank. I, I, I don't know. I'm not super familiar with Game of Thrones. I watched it up to season five, I think. Let's see here. Uh, when did I quit watching Game of Thrones? It wasn't the Red Wedding that threw me off. I think it was something that came after. Regardless, from everything that I've heard about how it ended, I'm I'm uh, I made the right choice. Yeah, that really did not go well, did it? And yet, ultimately, the answer to this uh, to this problem that we're facing here is going to be: eventually, we're going to have to not rely on the abyss. We're going to need we're going to need an excavator on hematite, automatically smelting our iron. Yeah, that was just. No one knows how to write endings anymore. I don't think. I sworn I saw an iron block get tossed out here. I mean, the one ending that seriously disappointed me was Mass Effect. I liked Mass Effect. Until it ended. And then... Just the way that they completely betrayed their own design principles so thoroughly. The whole... Infinite choice, infinite uh, evolution of the galaxy thing that they went through. And then to just have it ultimately come down to three fucking colors. That just... At this point, I can't recommend Mass Effect to anyone because it just breaks your heart. A 
as much as one and two are amazing, three just ruins everything. <laughs> Well, good thing the Gru had nowhere to actually spawn. Let's just wait until that condition passes. Yeah, you need to wait for the blindness to wear off and then you're safe from the Gru. And tight corridors can be your friends. Ah, well, the Gru just had to show up and make his opinion we we put a torch down why was the grew still yelling mm. yeah in general I think writing is just becoming more and more of a lost art yeah I mean I I, yeah, I do want to play through 1 and 2, but that just keep on reminding me that 3 exists, you know? Okay. I think that a couple of stacks of iron blocks is enough to get us by for the moment. Let's just get that smelting down into place to make us some more mechanical bits and bobs. Oh, right. I put in a ton of bronze, too. Let's also get this, uh... We might as well just get the netherrack compacting on down. What are you jammed with? The mechanical... The mechanical, the mechanical compactor can't compact netherrack? But it compacts down in a compacting bin? I thought the mechanical compactor did everything that the compacting bin did. Oh, well. We'll just throw it out. Oh, well. Yeah, did they fix anything in the remaster edi edition? Or was it just like updated graphics? Like, did they fix some of the ungodly bugs that were plaguing the game, too? Why is that not draining out? Is the filter clogged? You got a straight path down. You're full of wool still. Anyone plays a bit better? I mean, it played fine. Hmm. Do void pipes block pollution while diamond pipes don't? What's going on up there? Okay, where's my building blocks? Yeah, it looks like our void pipe is blocking our pollution for some reason. And yet the diamond pipe doesn't. Huh, weird. Well, that just means that we need to put it off to the side. No. We need to let the pollution filter out and then put it off to the side. Oop, shoot. Did not mean to do that. Where did it go? Where did it fall?
there it is. Okay, well, we need to let that pollution filter out and then we need to reshape how our roof is because apparently void pipes do block pollution flow while diamond pipes don't. I don't know. That's just... It, it's weird. The pollution just decided it didn't want to touch those icky diamond pipes, I guess. Who knows? Who knows? Ah, shoot. And of course, it doesn't fall my way. It has to fall all the way down to the damn ground. You know what, let's just climb up onto the roof. Deconstruct the whole damn thing. Get into it from the top, because that'll be easier. Might let a little bit of pollution out, but it's fine. Okay, so now... Oh, shoot. You know what? Let's actually build our way up. Because then I'm less likely to completely dirt myself off the roof. No, I need to go back up there to reconstruct the stairs anyway. Thankfully, tripes heal you very fast. Yeah, we're letting out a little bit of pollution. It's fine. Okay, now. Pipe. Onto the side, please. Thank you. And then this. Onto there. And yeah, that's better. That's better. And that should allow pollution flow up into the filter still. Yep, that should be fine. Okay, climb us up and deconstruct my ugly dirt pillar. Okay, and now back to the project of the day so that we can actually make some progress. Let's see, how you doing? Waste a little bit of bronze, it's okay. Bronze is relatively cheap. And get all that iron casting out into plates so that we can make more mechanical parts. Ugh, I apologize for the derp. It you 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 just you have days like that, you know? You have your days. Okay, so I was making light mechanical blocks. Right, and for that I need those plates. Right. Right. Shoot. Yeah. Okay, let's complete let's clean that out completely. Okay, where did Ah, I put those in there for god knows what reason. And yet yeah, nothing for it but to wait on those plates. So that I can make more mechanical bits. I really should have been running that in the background while I was derping around. Oh well. We've got a little bit. We've got just a little bit. Mm. 
And finally, some gears. As well as some more ingots. I am out of copper ingots. All right. Right. Also need to offload that. Just into here. Well, let's go retrieve some copper, shall we? Where is the damn copper pump these days? Over there, of course, right in front of my face. And let's just retrieve a ton. I don't think I'm even going to bother turning it on. It fills up so fast. When we empty it out a bit more, yeah. But till then... It's fine. Long and short of it here is that we are entering the phase where we are going to need to start building storage silos and just building up reserves of all this and getting them on redstone control so that we can shut them off when the silos are full. But I don't quite have the infrastructure for that just yet. We're getting there, but we're not quite there yet. Okay, and that should be all my light engineering. Materials? And what am I missing? I'm missing gears. Mm-hmm. Well, it's very admirable that you've managed to dodge that many agents. I mean, really, when you look at American history, wanting to avoid paying one's taxes is just patriotic. It's kind of what the whole revolution was founded over, when you get down to it. Yet yeah, more mechanical components. Let's build up a nicely stock of them. Oh, shoot. Look at the time. Yeah. I am going to need to go and start making breakfast for the rest of the household. I am sorry to leave you so suddenly and kind of in the middle of things. I am sorry the stream has been so derp. It's just been one of those days, you know. But we have a excavator up. We have a ton of redstone. We're starting to get flush with supplies. And we are getting to the point where I can start casually throwing around stacks of engineering blocks. And we managed to gather up some of the base resources we are going to need to get the next leg of progress up. So, yes, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for showing up. Thank you, 12th Century Fox, Blood Devon, uh, Ian, if you're still around. It's been lovely having you by. I am sorry again that this stream was so derp. And I will... See you next time. Have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a lovely evening. Good night, everybody.